how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Uh, sadly though, as you know, I, I really can't share personal stuff with you guys for good reason. The people who go out of their way to make my life uh, awful on a daily basis uh, would take any personal information that I gave you guys and would ultimately just turn it into something negative and quite frankly, dangerous. I know they would, they've done it before. They have found a way to weaponize in, uh, information. Things that probably shouldn't have been public that, that get made public and then they just won't let it go. Um, and as you know, every little piece of information that they get that is actually factual, they will spin and turn into the biggest nonsensical, toxic, ridiculous stories, you know, insane conspiracy theories that they repeat so much that people believe they're true. The vast majority of the internet believe things about me right now that are completely untrue, and I really have no defense against it. So, in this particular case, I'm very, very sorry that I couldn't be here Tuesday. I had every intention of being here. You know, things developed over the course of the week. I had already told you guys on Monday that that was not a day to mess with me because already things were going bad behind the scenes, and, you know, a particular individual decided to mess with me anyway, because um, that really shows, you know, their, their character. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then, you know, I went through with my, my streaming day on, on Monday pretty much as normally as I could, even with stuff going on behind the scenes, and, uh, it just so turned out that I, you know, I absolutely could not be here Tuesday, and I'm very sorry for that. All, all I can really tell you is, no, it was not, certainly not a good time. You'll have people say, oh, he had two days off. Oh, yeah, two days off. Uh, there was a lot of pain, a lot of misery, a lot of, a lot of, uh, emotions. Like, it's been tough. You know, my life has been tough over the last decade. It has. A lot of bad stuff. It was not a good time. This is not me choosing to have an extra day off this week for good reasons. Um, if anything, the only, the only real, like, positive shining light in all of it is that, you know, my wife is with me. Thank God that when now I'm in tough times and things are going bad, that I have my wife with me. Because that means the world. It really does. Um, uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, when, when bad things happen these days, especially some of this stuff, I, I don't know if I'd be able to get through it if I was by myself. And that is one of the huge things about me, you know, finding Kat and being married to her and having a good life with her that I'm so grateful for. Because, you know, going through life with someone who really truly loves you uh, is something that I think a lot of people maybe even take for granted or don't understand, you know. When people make jokes about marriage and stuff, uh, even on my streams, you know, I tell people, no, I'm not going to be doing this or doing that, you know, I cherish my marriage, this is ridiculous, why would I want to even think about that kind of stuff? And they make jokes about it, like, no, you just don't understand because you don't have it. If you had it, maybe you would. All right, but anyway, um. Stop making jokes about why you're having boyfriends. It's not funny. It's fucked up. Uh, blog comments is ever thinking of having a gym partner, you and your wife. Why are we talking about what is the fuck does this stream have to do with going to the gym and gym partnerships? Exactly. Nothing. Uh, yeah, it, it was not a good time at all. Uh, you know, and it might not be over. Who knows? You know, but that's life. In life, as you get older, things happen. And you have to take care of stuff. And, uh, you know, you deal with it. And that's just, you know, what I'm facing as I get older. There's going to be more and more things, more challenging things in my life that I'm going to have to handle. And uh, I apologize that I can't share it with you all. Let me, let me just tell you. I would love to tell you what's going on. I really would. I would love right now to just say, hey guys, here's everything that's been going on and, and here's what it is. So that way I can clear the air. But I know I can't. I know that doing that, it, it actually just, it puts myself, it puts my family at risk because of these awful people all over the internet. Keep in mind, 10 years ago, I shared everything with the internet, right? Like, literally every part of my life was shared with the internet, and because of that, um, <coughs> sorry, spring has sprung and there's gonna be allergies going on. Um, but no, like a decade ago, I did, I shared everything. I overshared. Like, literally every single, uh, piece of stuff that I had in my life, I would share with you guys constantly, right? And it, it definitely hurt me. It hurt my my personal life. It hurt relationships I had. It hurt everything, and that's why I just can't do it anymore. All right, and I apologize for that. You know, today I'm I'm back. 
don't worry, I'm back. For as, as much as I can control this week, I will absolutely be here a six-day streaming late week like I normally intend to do. Um, I'm going to try to be here in full capacity. You know, obviously my mind might be elsewhere sometimes, but I'm going to do my best to be here. And like I told you guys on Monday, when I'm here on streams, I try to do my best to unplug from the real-life stresses that are happening in my life and just enjoy the time that I have with you guys. And that's what I'm going to try to do this week. Um, you know, physically, I am exhausted. I'm worn out. My back is messed up uh, with all this uh, stress and, and a lot of fucking driving and shit that I had to do in the last two days. My whole back is messed up. I used to have a really bad back injury. It was a hurt, severely herniated disc in my lower back to the point where I had numbness and pain and all kinds of stuff. I could barely move around for a year there. During my time when I was on YouTube doing stuff, I could, could barely even move because I was so messed up. And so when I moved out here to Seattle, I don't know what it was. It could have been my lifestyle changes. It could have just been going to a new area. I don't know, but I said, man, I don't know. The air out here is clean or whatever. I don't know what it is, but my back's better. Oh, the Seattle air healed his back. Um, my, not my lower back, hopefully, you know, thankfully, but, you know, my upper back. I, I must have hurt a disc, you know, in my upper back, and now I've got soreness and shooting pain and muscle tenseness all throughout my upper back. If I even, like, move the wrong way, it hurts. So, you know, if you notice that I'm kind of moving weirdly or, or stiffly, I'm actually going to try to decompress my back right now. Actually, that feels better already. So yeah, if you notice that I, I'm moving weird or whatever, that's probably what it is. Um, and you know, this is something that, you know, it's even hard to sleep when you have back problems. I'm trying to find a position where I can sleep and not hurt my back. And that's just compounding everything else. Because that's not what this is. It's just everything else plus this just makes it worse. Um, you know, it sucks, but what can you do? So again, I'm going to reiterate, all right, what I said on Monday, all right? Please understand right now, is not a great time in my life um, because of stuff that I can't talk about. This would be a great time if you were just to be here to chill and enjoy gameplay and have a good time with me. That's what it's all about. Uh, people who are here to come and try to be nasty and be stupid and troll, you are here at the absolutely wrong time. Um, this is not a time where I'm going to feel like joking around like stuff like that. And uh, you're going to find yourself permanently removed from my content uh, if you're going to act like that. I'm just going to ban. And I, I forewarned everyone on Monday no one listened. These idiots came in from uh, Review Tech Stream and basically tried to ruin my content for the day. It didn't work. All right, all I did is a bunch of people got banned. He looked like a fucking clown, and uh, <clears throat> you know that it's just there's a you can definitely tell the difference between certain kinds of people. We'll just say that. So let's continue on positively today, and quite frankly, that's really all I have to say about it. All right, like I'm not going to be bringing this up. It ha you know it sucks that I had to have a day like that, um, where I couldn't be here with all this awful stuff going on, um, I'm gonna do my best to be here 100%, I don't know if I will be here mentally 100%, <clears throat> I'll do my best. My job is playing video games, so I don't really overexert myself. I appreciate every single person who reached out to me, I really do, um, it means, it does mean the world to know that there's people out there that care, because sometimes you feel like maybe there's not, when there's so much negativity about you on the internet constantly and when I'm doing my best to ignore all the nonsense and just put out positive content for my audience and you've got people out there who all they want to do uh, is insult you call you names be nasty and, and essentially just be fucking so toxic right <clears throat> for what right like what did I ever obviously do to deserve that kind of treatment nothing it's been a running meme on the internet to crap on Phil with no justifiable reason you can say that I'm, an infa I'm a fallible person, I'm imperfect, that's fine, but I really don't believe that the amount of shit that gets thrown at me on a daily basis is equivalent to anything that I've done on the internet that was harmful, alright? So thank you to those of you who did reach out and were positive to me in the last few days. I really do appreciate that. It, like I said, it means a lot. And I want to say that before we get to the future because I don't want few people to feel like I'm ungrateful for, for the positivity that you sent me, okay? By the way, I got a giant bill due later this week and I need help with it. That's begging. For sure it is. But that's also me being transparent because I need the help. Yeah, if you could.
please leave comments on that video when it goes live tomorrow. Let me know. What did you like on the channel? What don't you like on the channel? What could be improved? How could it be improved? Is there new content you want to see on the channel I'm not doing? Is there content on the channel you don't think is working? You know, I'll be honest, some of the content I don't think is working are the reviews, which is hilarious because people ask me to review stuff for years and years. They said, well, you watch shows and review them. And I kept telling people, I'm not a reviewer of anything but video games. I don't review TV. I don't review, tel uh, you know, movies or anything. The few times I did, were like Iron Man 2 and Inception. We're talking movie reviews I did over 10 years ago. People liked them. I never did them again. So now, I bring, I bring this content back directly because of your requests. And it seems like the only stuff that did well was me reacting to The Last of Us show. And I think that uh, the Joker movie, the Joaquin Phoenix, and the movie The Whale. Outside of that, every other review I've done isn't really getting any traction, nor is anyone really even commenting on them. So because of that, it makes me feel like maybe you don't want that. Okay, outside of that, what else could I do? I can't go to the movies every week to see a new movie. It's not viable. And in fact, those videos don't make money. So do you expect me to go to the movies every week spending, you know, $30, $40 to see a movie <laughs> to come back and make $2 on the video? No, I'm not going to be doing that. It doesn't make any fucking sense. You know, things that are on demand, like new TV shows and stuff, sure. But the thing is, it's funny. I've been asking you guys for two months, what do you want me to watch? Is there anything new? And everyone's like, no, there's nothing new right now that's too hyper interesting. Well, then there's nothing I can really do about that, right? Maybe later this year, I think a new, a new season of The Boys is coming out. Maybe I can watch and review that. Um, if there's a, something on another on-demand service you want to see, like I said, <clears throat> I'm going to probably get rid of Hulu this month. So if there's something on Netflix or something on Disney Plus or something specifically you know is coming out that you know you're going to want me to see, I'm down for that. But I need that kind of feedback of what is it that you'd like to see me do. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be older stuff. Seems like people don't seem to care about me reviewing older stuff. Even stuff from, like, the last year hasn't really gotten much or any traction. No one really cares. So, that's one of the topics I discussed in that video. I hope you'll watch it tomorrow. And give me your feedback. Please leave comments on that video so I know, you know, how to improve that channel. In general, the channel's doing well. And I'm actually really enjoying it. So, I hope that you guys will continue to watch the content there, okay? Oh my god, he's drinking donations. Now, you may have noticed in all the things I just mentioned... There is one thing I have not mentioned, and I'm going to address it now because I don't want people to think that I've just decided to drop it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about Redfall. All right, Redfall is a game that came out on Tuesday on Game Pass. It is the next or the latest game from Arcane Studios. This is the same studio that made Deathloop, the same studio that made the Dishonored games, the same studio that made Prey, the same studio that has made countless good games, okay? Redfall is fucking garbage. I can tell you that because... My wife played it, and I watched her play it, and it was the wa biggest waste of about 90 minutes that I think the two of us have ever done in our lives. I couldn't fucking believe how bad that game is. So I'm actually glad I didn't waste the whole stream on it on Tuesday, because I probably would have been upset that I wasted your time and my time on that. That game is completely unfinished. So you either play it single player, and the game is a, a, a buggy, piece of shit, unfinished mess that's too hard and not fun, or you play it multiplayer, and it's a piece of shit, buggy, unfinished, boring mess that's too easy. There's literally no medium to the game. Um, and by the way, the graphics are terrible. They really are. Like, they're atrociously bad. It runs at 30 frames or less. When the enemies start to gang up on you, the frame rate dips even further, making it literally unplayable. Like, the enemy will teleport in front of you. Oh, okay, you try to shoot him. Now another one's coming out, and all of a sudden, the whole screen chops up. You can't see what's going on. Dead. Lol. Today, you know, it's a normal streaming day. It'd be great if you could support the streams. As you see, sadly, we lost a ton of members this week, likely because there were probably member bombs at the end of March that expired at the end of April. And of course, the fact that I wasn't here the other day, so a lot of people didn't renew their memberships that had lapsed. It would be great if we could get some re-upped memberships or maybe some gifted memberships to the community today. As you can see, we have a lot of people on stream. Um, outside of that, any kind of support today is obviously greatly appreciated, whether it be on the YouTube side with super chats, super stickers, memberships, gifted memberships, whether it be on the tip side with tips and getting our tips rewards out there, whatever it may be, you know, thank you guys in advance for any kind of support. Open your wallets and give me all of your monies. Ah! 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 They're popping in my face! There we go. <laughs> That's absolutely correct. No mature content allowed at all on my stream ever. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. 
is, is a mobile game addict. Philip indoctrinated children who send him money, blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>